Well, hey everybody, how's it going? It is Embrace the Matrix, and of course, you knew this one was going to have a voiceover. I just wanted to preface this by saying my artwork in no way, shape, or form is ever political in nature. Never has, and never will be, except for this piece. Um, And this, let me just also say, this is as close as I'll ever get to political art or artwork. Um, This is my whatever this is my tap dance into political art now as you can tell by the title of this uh, painting and video this piece is called compliance and unless you've been living on Pluto or Mars for a good amount of time you'll really need me to explain my basis behind this artwork although I might explain it anyways because I don't expect you to be a mind reader but um, I'll tell you this you know I spent the first part of my life and by that I mean up to my up to my 20s uh, early 20s being an absolute derelict I was a severe drug addict I was an alcoholic and I was a thief. I was an absolute 100% derelict. I got in trouble with the police. I got arrested many times. I've spent plenty of time in jail. Um, I've never actually been to prison per se, but I've uh, uh, you know spent my fair share amount of time in jail for stupid shit that I did when I was younger. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what I just uh, couldn't help, obviously, but notice what's going on. I don't, um, I don't have cable TV, so I don't, uh, um, you know, let the uh, the mainstream media just, you know, pollute my mind. However, you, you know, most people aren't, you know, unaware of what's going on in this world as far as, you know, social justice warriors and the, you know, police and criminals and. Black Lives Matter movements and all that kind of nonsense. And everybody, of course, has an opinion. Well, guess what? Embrace the Matrix has one too. However, my opinion is based on logic. It's not based on fantasy. It's not based on, uh, you know, misconception. It's based on truth and logic. Um, so. One of the big things I've seen is that, um, you know, all these people that have been, and and listen, let me tell you, I I didn't, this voiceover isn't meant to be me just going on about my, uh, my thoughts on this particular topic. Um, you know, the painting itself is fairly straightforward, you know, um, the canvas, I'll tell you, this is a 24 by 36 rectangular uh, in a landscape mode, which is new for me. I've always done these canvases in um, a portrait uh, area. But um, anyways, so, you know, yeah, you have basically the way I look at it, you know, or at least the way the mainstream media has pushed it is like you have police on one side and you have everybody else on the other. And some people would go so far as to break it down even further and say you have police on one side and you have black people on another. Well, here's my thing. Okay, so, and of course I'm using golden, you know, and uh, gloss gel medium. Um, But, okay, so here's my take on the whole, you know, black lives movement and, you know, you know, that whole, you know, hands up, don't shoot, whatever. I've watched a lot of those videos of, the, of cops shooting uh, and unfortunately it's a lot of black men. Every single video. 
every single video, the individual was being non-compliant. And that's the bottom line. He it, it just, he's not being compliant. So there's been no video posted until recently. And I'll, I'll maybe I'll touch on that. But there's been no video posted showing a black man with his hands up doing absolutely nothing and getting shot by the police. At least I haven't seen it. And feel free to comment or uh, point me in a different direction. But I want to see the video, not hearsay, not what you think or what you thought, but actual video showing a black person doing absolutely nothing and being shot. Most of all the videos I've seen, they, they're, they're not compliant. They're not complying. The police are all ordering them to do something, whether it's lay down, put your hands up, whatever. And for whatever reason, they are not complying. That's a problem with the police. I have friends that are police. I've had friends for many years that have been police. And I'm not um, on their side of it because, look, there's a lot of you know shitty cops out there too. Um, but the bottom line, and I've actually made some comments in some videos on YouTube, and I got to love how you're not allowed to have an opinion anymore in this world thanks to the internet but um yeah i mean listen let's just be realistic here if you're compliant and you and the cops say look lay down whatever it's it, it's not up to, it's not up to them or you to debate that you just have to listen and then listen if you're if you if the cop was in the wrong when you go to court, you'll have your day in court, and then if you, they, you are assaulted or anything like that, you can sue, and you'll most assuredly win as long as the evidence is on your side. I've, I said it before, as you know, uh, some people, well, I didn't say it, but other people said it, that, that like, uh, black people are, are irrational, or make irrational, have irrational reactions. Well, I tend to agree with that, and... Um, because look how they're reacting in all these cities where they're rioting and, and burning stores down. Their own neighborhoods, they're rioting and burning. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. So, and look, again, um, this is not meant to be some crazy political rant. I'm just saying, comply. If you comply, you'll stay alive. Because I've been arrested many times. I've been arrested with weapons in the car that I've been in and I've never been shot I've never certainly been never been shot by police um so yeah I mean it's just that simple so but anyways getting back to the actual painting so that really bugged me like I got sick of seeing people going on and talking about all oh, these cops are horrible blah 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 and, and and you know these cops are this you know and that when in fact there and I'll just say this real quick there was just a case of a white guy and his six-year-old autistic kid that uh, the, the, the father was running from the cops but they stopped or something I don't even know because you don't see the full video you just see what the video but the bottom line is the cops were shooting into the car and the guy had no weapons he hadn't he wasn't sh obviously shooting back because he had no weapons and the cops shot into the car they injured the father but they killed the six-year-old autistic boy now I ask you this why aren't we rioting? Hey, white people, why aren't we rioting? Why aren't we going crazy? Hey, black people, why aren't you rioting? Why aren't you going crazy for this? Because this was a true case of the police screwed up. They were shooting into a vehicle, even though they ran, I got it. Shooting into a vehicle with somebody that wasn't shooting back. And they ended up killing a kid in the fact. And, you know, you don't hear a lot about that story on the news. You know, so think about that when you put a lot of uh, uh, stock into those mainstream media um, reports. But anyways, so anyways, it really bugged me because I, I just don't think enough people are saying, well, look, why aren't these people being compliant? So instantly I knew I was like, I want to do a painting and I'm going to call it compliance. I already knew the name and I was just like, well, how am I going to how am I going to paint that? 
Um, I didn't really have an idea, and of course, you know, I have my own style of way I do things. And so I, I knew I wanted to have, and you can't see right now because I'm using another canvas to kind of block off an area. Because on the left of the painting, you'll see I got black, you know, black paint streaks, whatever you want to call it. And on the better part of the right side, I have blue. So obviously, we're representing the police on the right and the people on the left. Now we have black paint to represent black people. And I'm about to throw some white paint because guess what? Just like I said, yes, white people get shot by the cops too. Black people aren't the only ones. So we're going to put a little white here to represent the white people. Now... You know, and, and it's not necessary to represent anybody. It's just that, you know, I wanted to have some kind of separation showing you that, you know, if you comply, you'll stay alive. It's just that simple. Um, you know, I don't like seeing anybody get shot by anybody for that matter. I know that um, more black people are killed by other black people in their own neighborhoods but you don't see people rioting or black lives movement getting all up in arms over those shootings which happen every, almost like every day um they're just focusing on the police i don't understand why that is and you know the police are just doing their jobs and unfortunately being a lot more cautious than they ever have been because of what's been going on in society so you can't fault the police for being a little bit apprehensive and maybe a little trigger happy because yeah a lot of these guys that they have shot have had weapons and guns and you know i have had friends I, I have friends now that are police officers and look they just want to go home to their family and they're not they're not doing anything to provoke otherwise so anyways i got um i got some uh some black and some white but see i i, I got too much white you know, because, you know, I just, uh, you know, it, it, it might be like a little too much uh, white, uh, what do they call it, like white influence or something like that, or, you know, uh, white privilege, that's what it is, See, there's too much white privilege on there, and this is just a little weirdness here for you that um, I had to do, um, but nonetheless, we had to get more black on here, because I kind of wanted to cover up some of this white privilege because you know black people aren't privileged come on only us white people are privileged let's get realistic here um that was a joke don't get crazy um so yeah we're kind of covering it up because again this is more on the forefront of what's going on um and, and i'm not you know uh support i don't support the police i don't support the people i support myself and my family um so like you can see well, you can't because I already flashed it, you know, and already edited it over. But, you know, blue on the right, black and white on the left. Now, I had that space in the middle, and I thought, what can I do there? Or, not really in the middle, but offset. And I thought, well, let's put the potential blood. Let's represent the blood in, um, you know, in uh, you know, holding like you know like in almost in suspension like it's there in between these two um you know classes if you will of people or just people in general cops and civilians and and we're just gonna have the um you know uh you know, the blood kind of like rep you know the red kind of represent the blood that's there however you'll see it's not really crossing over um and as you'll see I started doing this, and unfortunately, I didn't use my T-square, so the lines weren't exactly the, the, this, this red, um, you know, section wasn't perfectly up and down, straight up and down. So I had to fix it, and unfortunately, I did not film it. So the the filming will end here shortly um, because I didn't um, I didn't film the complete creation. I thought I did. I'm still working in a new space. And my brain is kind of cuckoo crazy. Um, so, but right now I'm mixing up a little more red. I'm using some uh, Windsor, Windsor Newton Galleria Crimson. 
I think that's a good color. Here's a little shake action for you. Uh, mixed it with a little uh, airbrush medium. And we're going right back at it. So I was just trying to get the lines, you know, I was just trying to get crisscross lines and stuff like that. Again, just to represent, you know, the uh, the blood per se, and um, and and somewhat of an isolation. Here's where we go. We rip off the uh, the fun part. Here's the exciting part. This is when we rip off the um, rip off the tape. This was uh, kind of a difficult because I had all this cardboard tape down. Um, I was trying to. Ju I didn't want any rud, any red rud. I didn't want any red getting anywhere else on the painting, other than where I uh, I ordered it to go. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in, in this these frames, but yeah, that line isn't. Um, two things: one, it's not wide enough; two, it's not straight at all. Um, so I had to go back and fix it. And again, unfortunately, I, I didn't film it. But you'll see in the final final how it came out so yeah I mean and of course I actually took about 20 up close shots so here's a little you know you get to listen to me talk a little bit more but here's an array of um, some uh, some great HD photos of uh, uh, the, uh, the process and progress so yeah um, compliance it's that simple now I don't know if you would even classify this as political art I'm just calling it saying that it is because that was my thought process behind it. Um, it was all about compliance. It was all about representing the people. It was all about representing the police. And this was the only way that I knew how to do it. And again, no, no work is, none of my creations are ever political in nature. This will be the only one that will ever have a political or I don't say it's political, but it's current event. I don't know how you want to call it. I, I, who knows? Uh, you know, it is. Let's, let's, let's just get to it this way. It is what it is. You can say it's political. You can say it's a current event piece, topical, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to categorize it um, because that's what I love about my art. It's sort of uncategorizable. Um, but I thought these photos came out really cool as you see uh, the blending of colors and if you look closely in the black and the white on the left you will see figures you will see heads you will very easily uh, see faces and yeah it's um, pretty cool I took a few shots of this but you will see when we get to the end here that um, I had to widen it out and I straightened it out so it's perfectly straight it's a lot wider it looks a lot cooler and BAM here you go this is what it turned out to be so you see we have the you know people on the left cops on the right and a little obviously we have more cops than people but anyways thanks for watching I hope you understood what I was saying in there and didn't take it too personally I love you all thanks